It's, it's uh, Mike Barry with Free Speech Media. We're here in uh, Toronto, Canada, near Queen's Park. Now, uh, can you describe for us uh, what just happened uh, a little earlier? I saw that a police tried to ram you with his bicycle. Yes, I was uh, taking a rest from my exercise, and the police officer said, you can't be there. And I said, yes, I can. He said, you're here to protest. And I said, well, how do you know that? He says, because of the buttons you're wearing. Well, <laughs> yeah, I said, that doesn't prove anything. So and I said, you know, I've already got a ticket, so why don't you give me another one? And then uh, I, saw, I thought that was a stupid thing to say. So I, uh, I started moving, and then they tried to corner me, and I booted out of there. <laughs> uh, so he, he ran into your bike. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, his, they, front, they, his front wheel collided with your bike, right? Absolutely. You know, they, 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 he tried to knock you over. I've already been, been accosted once before on the 16th of January. Really? When, when our, we became a full-fledged communist country. Uh, and we aren't allowed to uh, have a legal protest anymore. What happened on January 16th? Can you describe that? Well, that was the day that we we all uh, had a big change when when um, we we tried to protest, and because of the the new new laws that came down, uh, we weren't allowed to meet together at all, or even stand on Dundas Square. I was standing on Dundas Square because it's my God-given right to stand on Dundas Square and I was being pushed away and I said I'm not I, I have every right to be standing here and I'm not bothering anybody nobody's near me so just leave me alone and, and then six of them grabbed me and pulled me away to wow. the back of this and then gave me a ticket which Rebel News is going to fight for me and it'll be thrown out because all these tickets <laughs> haven't got a leg to stand on from a constitutional standpoint or a medical standpoint. And when this all gets cleared up, I hope our politicians are in jail, because that's where they belong. Thank you very much. You're welcome.